All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, it is um, a day I consider a holiday on this game. It's trade deadline day, July 31st, and we are in pretty good shape, I got to say, in terms of the roster. Like, I don't think I want to do anything in regards to pitching. I like the bullpen. It's, it's young. Like, we got this James Crow guy who we drafted a few years ago. He's come up. He's uh, establishing himself. Ken Barger is really young, 23 years old. Warren Peace is 25. Like the elder statesman is Bill Ball, was like 30. But um, the lineup, there's really, like, it's rock solid. It's just we could use a, uh, a pretty decent upgrade at DH. Like, uh, Alberto Zambrano is a good hitter, don't get me wrong. He's a doubles guy. He's got doubles power. But um, three homers in 113 at bat just doesn't get it for me. Like, I like my DH task with pop. And uh, just so this video won't be too long, I uh, already looked at the uh, trade block. I think I know who my main target is. He's a pretty prototypical power hitter. Might have passed him. Rowdy Tellez, 81 overall, 87 uh, power against righties. Um... I like it. Obviously, he's not going to be playing the field, so the defense won't matter. But uh, I just need to give you like 20 bombs at the bottom of the lineup, like what, what Michael Harris was providing us. And this dude can just, he's just flat out hit. And he's uh, making 5.3 mils, so wow. Damn, how's the age when you have that many quirks? But uh, yeah, I hope we can uh, work something out with the Giants. Sure. All right, uh, we got Roddy uh, Tellez. I feel like I've had him before. But yeah, this dude, he can hit. All right, there we go. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to hit him against lefties. Oh, wait. Yeah, I am. What? what? This guy's like a walking contradiction. He's left-handed. He obviously has good uh, power against righties, but how is he a good contact hitter against lefties? I don't understand that, but can this guy play every day? I don't think so. I'm just going to start uh, Zambrano with DH. Uh, we're going to do a platoon situation. But yeah, it's um, we spent like none of our budget space. Yeah, 2.5 mil or 1.5 mil is all we just uh, expended. Uh, I mean, we can turbo charge the team. Why not? On screen. I mean, there's literally, I, uh, you know, the uh, lineup is pretty much impossible to upgrade at this point, but we could trade, theoretically, trade for a reliever. And oddly enough, there are none here. Hmm, there they are. I think I like Clark Schmidt. I had him before. I was on like this low risk, high reward type thing on last year's game. I traded for him and uh, Justin Steele. And needless to say, it uh, didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. Like Steele had ERA in like the nine. And Clark Schmidt was just, I couldn't even like, he, he was just roasted down in AAA. But uh, let's see, hopefully he can go better this time. I, I'd like him on the team. All right, we've turbocharged the bullpen. We have a DH now. And, you know, I've said it before, but uh, I got to get I gotta get to the Marlins. They, uh, them being competitive out of nowhere, spending some money for once. It's giving me new life. It's reinvigorated me. It's made me try again. Like, I feel like I had to be on my toes the entire season because they haven't been more than four games out all, all year. So they're, they're here. They're for real. They're, they're here to stay. They're sticking around. So I'm um, curious what they're going to do with the deadline, if anything. But, uh, yeah, that's our lineup. And uh, this is a new rotation. Clark Schmidt. He can keep us long release. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All right, there's a new team. Um, and if um, the good thing about this, if Richie struggles, we can just slot Clark Schmidt into the rotation. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, it's been traded in line. Uh, let me know what you think below and take it easy.